So I'm here with the doggone ATL legend, Mr. Hitman, Sammy Sam. Coin. Coin the same doing? thing. I'm sorry. I was just saying, how y'all doing? Good. Thank okay. you. So <laughs> you come from way back, like way back when way I was back. thumping, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about I come from way back, like in the 80s, in the 80s. 88 to be exact. <laughs> To be exact, yes, ma'am, to be exact, in 88, all the way through the 90s, and I'm still right here. <laughs> you still right here doing what it do. Now, when you there. when you got into the game, hip-hop was officially starting the golden era. Now, what, right. were, what were your earlier influences that got you into it? Well, I tell this story every time somebody asks me that. <laughs> I'm going to keep it short for you, but it's like, uh, excuse me, I wasn't really into rap music like that because, you know, back then I was young. I was like, I didn't street because I was from the hood, so I was doing little street things. Mm -hmm. So my friends, uh, the dad, the Fresh Festival came to Atlanta. I mean, they had Randy MC, Curtis Blow, Fat Boy, everybody, you know, the whole so everybody had tickets. So they, they had me a ticket. They like, let go. I said, man, I don't want to go in there like that. I don't. So anyway, long story short, we went. Everybody performed. But when Run DMC came out, <laughs> when Run DMC came out, <laughs> I'm talking about, they had me jump. Okay. I was just being cool. So they had, and after that day right there, that experience, uh -huh. I said, I, I I'm gonna tell you. I think I was I was seventeen. I was seventeen. After that experience, right now, I said, "Man, I'm gonna start rapping." <laughs> <laughs> and then I started trying to write a rap, and then I wrote one little song called "A Hit Man," and I did it in a a a, a, a little rap contest, a a talent show, and I won the talent show. And from that day on, I've been been a rap. It's been on and popping, not just a oh, rapper, hip hop. You hip hop. Hip hop. Hip -hop. But I, it, it all, it's even, I don't care what people say, I don't care what kind of rap you do with it. When you're rapping, it's still hip hop. Right. Yeah, it's always hip hop. But that's right. where it started as hip hop. Okay. Now you signed to Universal, um, and you speak about that often, but how did that, <laughs> how did that change your perspective about getting into the rap game? Well, when I signed with Universal, when 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 Universal signed me, when we got the call, it was me and Rocco. Mm -hmm. And when we got the call, and they were like, "Well, uh, Universal want to uh, be like that was DJ Jelly." He said, "Universal want to want to talk to us." And like he said, they're in town, it's through the past Troy video or something like that. So. Uh, Rock said they want to meet with us. I said, tell them meet us at uh, uh, Applebee's on uh, Cascade. <laughs> that was on oh, Cascade. I'm sorry. Well, you know how I be in Cascade. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, 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 at Applebee's. And that's when uh, when I when I had, you know, I had been getting deals, you know, good little deals. I was with Big Oom. You know what I'm saying? I've been with little independent companies. I mean, the money went bad, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't what I wanted, but I, I could live off it, you know what I'm saying? Right. But when I got with you on the first one, <laughs> that money thing went to another level for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, it felt like it felt like you worked your whole life with it. I'll never forget this what Rocco told me at the meeting when we were talking to it. And they had let me, they already had a contract with them. And it was like a little booklet. It was like a damn book. And they were like, don't worry about it. Now let your lawyer read it and get back with us. I said, look, I said, yeah, I see it all that, but I don't see no money. Oh. And they, like, <laughs> and they were like, let's look on the last page. So when I seen the last page and it said 575000 I said, what that is? They said, that's your bonus for signing. That's what right. we give you. I said, yeah, we ain't got to get no lawyer. Let me sign it. <laughs> oh, right you ain't even read the card. I can't take it. <laughs> But but you know you know I was just you know young you know how it was you know right. it just I ain't never had this one I can't wait to get it. I got a thousand plans you know right I mean? but they wouldn't do no deal I had to have a lawyer that's what right. the contract stated you know so anyway long story short 
Universal, boy, hey, they shot me everywhere. You can just name it. They shot me everywhere. I'm talking about I would hide everywhere. You know, I'd have been everywhere. I could, yeah, I'd have been in Africa everywhere. Japan. I'd have had a ball. You know, then I got to be with John Weatherspoon, you know. Mm -hmm. And that was a good experience because we 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 became friends. Good friend, rest in peace to John Weatherspoon. Because mm. yeah. he did Step Daddy video uh, yeah. with you. Yeah, he, he and the funny thing about it, the funny thing about that is, but because I didn't know that he liked the song or not. Uh -huh. So when I got to the house, he was already up there, had on that little <laughs> jump suit. Like. Tripping. So when I came in the room, I was like, what you think about so I said, oh. I got the dance for the song already. <laughs> <laughs> he started doing that little dance. It was okay. so funny. So I said, oh, yeah, it's cool. we're going to have some fun. Yeah, he, he was funny to me. I, I, I really had fun with John. But one thing I can say about him, I can't never say nothing else. He kept it real. Okay. He kept it real. He kept it 100% real. A lot of people don't know. He came from the struggle, too. <laughs> it was hard for him to get what he got. Right. right. So what's what's one of those um lessons he taught you? Well, he taught me that I hate to say that I don't want to scare nobody, no producers <laughs> or nobody. He taught me to never trust nobody. Okay. He said, especially when it comes to your money. Right. He said, I always keep my eye on your money. He said, get a lawyer for your lawyer. Ooh, okay. That's what his that was his advice to me. Right. I have a lawyer for your lawyer, you know. <laughs> well, that's a good advice for everybody because the lawyer can't even be trusted nowadays. Yeah, you can't trust nobody because everybody's trying to close the deals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't care where it is as long as they can close the deal. Right. That's how those uh 365 deals became popular. Yeah. And then then you you, you know what's what's really bad about the game is right now is all the rappers, all the rappers nowadays, they hooked on one one thing, one style. Right. You know, like you just if you gangster, you just a gangster. Right. If you you hip hop, you just hip hop. What I try to do is I try to make a dance song. Right. I try to make a street song. You know, I try to make you know what I'm saying. Just to do a uh, 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 R and B, a uh, club song, a party song, a pop song. I try to make. Something different all the time, but because I don't want to be labeled as this one in the future. Right, right now, I'm working on a, a, a country song. <laughs> okay. What's the name yeah. of the country song? I ain't got name of it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> well, at least it's in the making, right? <laughs> it's in the making. It's going to be nice, too. Well, I haven't heard some anything from you that didn't bump. Now, <laughs> and you've been asked this question, too, somewhat. Now you're known as a battle rapper, so you can appreciate good beef according to your kilo disc. Now, what did you think about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef? Do you think that was more sensationalized or overhyped? What, 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 I, what I think about it, this this went up. This is the only comment I can make about it because I ain't got nothing against rappers dissing rappers. Right. As long as you keeping it in the music. Long as you ain't going farther than the music, you can talk whatever, say whatever, man. Talk about this. Right. Say, say you caught me with two sisters on transvest. Now you got me. So whatever you want to say, let the crowd believe it. Let's see who they're gonna believe. <laughs> but it don't matter. But long as they keep the music, it don't bother me because both of them good to me. You know. What right. Big you know fact. what I'm saying? I don't really choose now to beat now because both of them two different style of rappers. Right. 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 <laughs> You see what I'm saying? So you can't really say he killed him or he killed him. You just got to listen to what both of them say. One of them might be saying a little something a little harder than the other one. You know? Right, right, right. But I still, I, I still, I don't got no problem with it. I, I, I love it as long as they making money off of it. Because okay. they get a lot of people crunk off it. <laughs> you know, Reignite it. But see, me and Kilo, did, me, me this, when I did somebody, I want to keep this straight right now. I don't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, but I got to let this be known. When I did somebody, they done did something to me. Okay. Uh, they done said something about me. Me and Kilo, let me explain to y'all why I made that song, Pocahontas, in that new video y'all just seen. 
Because me and Kilo been doing these shows together. We have been friends. So I thought the beef been supposed to have been over with. One morning, my phone going off the chain. All my friends called it. So I figured somebody must be done dying. <laughs> so I answered the phone. They told my boy. Me and Kilo just performed that night at the atrium on Memorial Drive. So, but what, what's up with Kilo? What, what y'all, what you do to Kilo? I said, what I did to Kilo? They said, you ain't seen him on the internet. I said, what he got? What's up? He said, he talking about he dissing you on the internet. He rapping freestyle. I said, what? He back on that. So I ain't believe nobody. They showed it to me. And boy, when they showed it to me, I took it personal. <laughs> because we both have been free, but you know what? He explained it to me. I know what happened. The week before this show, we was on Grand Street show at six o'clock, you know, in Atlanta, six o'clock time for Street to ride. We on Street show, and Street brought up Sam. Me and Kilo on the show together. You know, when you and Kilo used to go at it back in the day, so Kilo heard up and replied to Grand and said, Yeah, I used to kill Sam. What? <laughs> <laughs> right at the radio station. Oh, we were on the air. I said, man, you ain't never killed me. I always shut it you down. I said, I shut you down now. You know, we, we start. So we start, he stopped talking to me. You know, that night, I guess he said, I'm going to get this shit. <laughs> he went on the left and did that, that dumb jump. It was just a radio hype jump. Oh, he went God. on the air and did that jump. And that's why I did that and made that video, but it wasn't that first because he's still my friend. He's always gonna be my friend because it just we just were together at the right. youth fest. Yeah, right. so we, it, it, it don't never be like I won't do the song in front of a crowd when he's there and then like that because I ain't that type of person. Right, like, right. That's your friend. Yeah, that's my friend. I just had to show <laughs> you ain't got to answer my calls in there. You know what I mean? I got something for you. <laughs> Well, I, I do know that you have spoken very well about him, too. And you give him his flowers and you said the beef, like, I think if I rem remember correctly, uh, he was a different style of rap back then. It wasn't that you didn't like him or had anything against him. He was just the first guy that started singing in his raps. Is that correct? Listen, Kilo is a hell of a good artist. He's a great artist. Right. He always been great. And he the youngest of all us from the old school. And he came out on fire. Me and Kilo B started at the nightlight. A club was on Moreland Avenue. Raheem the Dream, was, Kilo was signed to Raheem the Dream. He, uh, Raheem been dropped out a song on him called Cocaine. Uh -huh. So they was in the park lot putting post uh, stickers on people's car, you know, on their windshield a little time. So I walked, what's up, Raheem? We shake. He said, oh, this is my new artist, Kilo. I said, yeah, what's up, man? Tell so I'm, I'm me and Raheem talk. He said, Raheem, let go, man. Let go on in, man. Talk to that nigga. No, uh, Ooh. Yeah, that little bit of boy. You let him talk to you all that. <laughs> you know, and we got into a conversation right then. It wasn't that. Went in the club, got in the club. Raheem got on stage. He only introduced my artist. Kilo came out there. He did the song, Cocaine. Oh, uh, he did. He ain't have no beat to it. He did it off the Planet Rock. That was familiar. When he finished the song, he said, yeah, yeah, nigga, Sammy Sam, I got something coming for him. I'm standing, he know I'm in the club. <laughs> Everybody in the club said, whoa. <laughs> Man, let me let this little boy go on home. <laughs> but, but, and that's how I started from that day on. And that's how I started. And it wasn't no, we tried to kill each other. We performed against each other at the 321 on the west side. Anywhere we go. We ain't never had no battle where. Well. Ain't nobody said we don't got to fight no nothing. Right. Because you know, I don't, if I really got to beef with somebody that I, I want something to happen to them or something, then I ain't going to rap about it. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why these young guys got to know I say again, it ain't nothing but music and entertainment. Right. You can't take it too far. Because when you start trying to live that person, you really ain't that person. You're just trying to live a character you done made yourself. Nice. <laughs> so that, that's what I thought I was that person out of the street. And thanks to God, I'm still living. Because, boy, I could have been a victim or another victim of society. Okay. So how I escape. <laughs> you have to get to be this age. That's what I'm trying to tell. Right. I don't want to see nobody dying over no music. You know? Okay. <laughs>
of a lifestyle they're not even living. Yeah, it, 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 it don't make no sense. Because it ain't nothing but music. Man, people don't know for years Michael Jackson and Prince were di- uh, battling, battling each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the print did try to run him over <laughs> on the motorcycle. That was the goofiest <laughs> doggone beef I ever seen in my life, okay? <laughs> that was a hell of a beef. Nobody, nobody. <laughs> that was a real beef. That was me and Kilo. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> now, I remember the song Sammy Sam, uh, the Hitman, 1988, and Intoxicated from the album Straight Out of Atlanta, Last Man right. Standing. Now that's right. crazy wordplay. Like you going from one decade to the next. Crazy wordplay. Why do you think it was so easy to talk about life in your raps during that time frame? You already know the answer to that. You already know that's my life. That's what I li- I, I lived. I lived. I always lived. When 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 I start getting some money with Universal, I was happy to get some money. But I start feeling salt anyway. Oh Lord! I always lived in the always lived in the trenches, you know. Right. I, even the thing that I didn't do that I rap about, I seen done. You see? What right, I mean? right, 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 right. Everything I rap, I haven't done. You know. What I, mean? I mean, you know, like uh, 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 like on one song I said, "I'm gonna pop me a pill." I'm gonna pop no pills. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I know they want to hear that pow. Then them girls say pow. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, you know, it's just entertainment to me. That's all. It's just like right now. I love the music. I, I've been loving music all my life. I listen to country music, rock and roll, hip hop. I listen to all kind of music. Right. Right. I'm not trying to be a rapper. Y'all young guys, they can have it. All I'm trying to do is my last album be my best album. Okay. You see what I'm saying? This be the best one. I might feature on some old folk stuff, you know, before I get to get that Kang and that Walker. But right. this, 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 this the last album, though. You know okay. I mean? And that's I just want to be the best one. I think it's going to be my best one. Well, you said it was your pension plan in one other interview, but mm-hmm. <laughs> speaking now of you your... Know. Speaking you know, of your... Your pension plan. Now you speak candidly about fumbling the bag and getting it back. And also wishing you hadn't blown so much money. What do you feel about investments in Plan B now, especially after surviving the pandemic? Why? Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. The kind of money I blow. <laughs> well, I think you know how they say it need tighter than a mosquito butt. <laughs> <laughs> this time right here. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess up no money, but at the same time, I'm still, I'm doing it for my people. Right. So the people who don't know me to do this, I'm doing it for them, so that they can have something and I can have something. You see what right. I'm saying? What I'm, what, what, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna invest my money because my wife, she got a lot of dreams. Right. But she real smart, so I'm gonna let her do whatever she wanna do with her little part of the money. Okay. And then. then I'm gonna take my money. Really, what I want to open up me is a bowling alley with the skating ring in it, and I, you know all that. You know, like some big. I want some big, like Magic Johnson. I don't okay. want to start small. I want to invest every time. It's something big. Yeah, these tacos so spicy. Not my nose. <laughs> my nose running this because I got a cold. Somebody done got me. Oh, got you got me. a cold. I got a cold. I feel you keep watching your nose. <laughs> I done pulled out the washcloth like an old person. Now, <laughs> you have had 30 years in the game. How do you keep it raw and fresh as if it's your first time on the mic? You said, say that again. <laughs> I, didn't hear I that. said, you've been in the game thir- over 30 years. How do right. you keep it raw and fresh as if it's your, your first time on the mic? I don't know. I- only God can answer that because I can't even answer because I don't practice, I don't do nothing. I believe it's just a guilt. Because, right. because nowadays, seriously, the young guys can get away it's so simple now. You can sing a little bit and everything now. Right. You, 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 I mean, it ain't hard as it used to be back then. You got to be saying stuff. 
Now you can just be giving them something. As long as they can dance, you can mama the word. You can be on <laughs> lean. Well, you know, you know man, you did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm say, that's that right okay. <laughs> I be saying, what did he say? He said, you know, he said he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's why I'm glad. Like, like I got young son, fourteen. You know, and I got older too, too. But they keep me up on what's going on. So when I hear son new, like, out of all the female rappers out here, I like Glow Real. You know, okay. Man. Because she sound more hard, you know. Right. You know, to me, I just like the way she, you know, her hardness. Her I, cadence. I just about hardness to me. I just like hardness. <laughs> but I just, I only, only, when I get on, when I hear somebody like this, they say, Sam, we want you to feature you on this song. And I come hear them rap. It be like, it's easy to me. I just get on the song and just do me. I don't try to rap like them. I don't try to do nothing. Else. I just do me. Right. And that's and that's why I say you only ask God because it, it come out the way it's supposed to come out. Right now, you're still fresh now. Yeah. Now, I, speaking of, I appreciate that. You're welcome. So you say you got the new project coming out. Yeah. Is it out now? No, nah, it ain't. My album ain't out, but my uh my 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 single out Fight Club. It's on World Star. It's on all the platforms. Then uh uh my song Greater Baby I. It, you know, it's on our radio station right now, but it's, I'm working on a video. I'll be finished with the video by next week for Greater Baby. And uh, then I'm going to take it from there. Then I'm going to drop the album. I'm going to bring the New Year's in with the album. Okay. That's how I'm going to bring my New Year's in. Right up the New Year, I'm going to drop the album. I'm going to have inspired, the album. What inspired uh, Greater Baby? Greater Baby is just a song it's for people who really from Atlanta. If you really from Atlanta, it don't matter where you from, the cater, the cap, the net, I don't care where you you were born at Grady, you really from Atlanta. Okay. Uh, and you a Grady baby, you originated from Atlanta. <laughs> That's why I said. And I wasn't really even born at Grady. I was born in the apartment because I was standing, we stayed in the and back then the police didn't come to the hood when you call them right away. You right. Know, so they got way to hour to get that stuff. So I was already born and it took me to grave. <laughs> now you got a whole song about it. Yeah, so I am really mechanic here, baby. <laughs> okay. But you're paying homage either way it goes. <laughs> yeah, right. right up the street from Grave. <laughs> so do you have any other projects that you're working on? No, that's it. I just did um uh... <coughs> Got got play with Georgia and his, his, his buddy. They just did a stomach for the Georgia Bulldogs, mm -hmm. and they did HBN. He just HBN just finna put it out, and I just did a verse on it. We just did the video at the Georgia game last Saturday. Oh, oh, it's finna come out. It's super fire. I like okay. It. It's super fire. <laughs> I like it. You gonna y'all gonna like that? Y'all gonna. Like I believe it. So, like, is there one thing that you could, you wish you could have done better, not differently, but better during your uh, length in this career? My career. Mm -hmm. okay, well, let me leave you with this. It ain't one thing I could have did better, and that would manage that money. Okay. <laughs> that was the only thing I could have did better. Cause I did everything but save some of that money. I kept spending that money. <laughs> I don't Everything I seen, I wanted. <laughs> you know how black people just don't, when you get money, you don't get used to money. And then you making money doing shows, so you think it ain't gonna run out. Right. Then it running out, but you don't know it running out. Then you know it running out. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So it was bad. It, but that's the only thing, if, if if I can go back again this time here, I have that money. I probably never spend it. <laughs> Come on, hey. You know, it's hard to go from living a certain way to living another way. Right. You know, but I mean, I ain't living bad now. I'm getting wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm living great. But right. It's, it's like, I ain't, I can't do what I used to do. I can't, I can't, me and my wife just can't hop up and say, shit, let's go on this trip. I, uh, right. Let, uh, 
let run to the mall right quick and buy us an outfit. Uh, we got to make sure it's in the budget, right? Facts. <laughs> Well, there's a difference between living a blessed life and a lavish life. Yeah, and a lavish life. See, I'm still blessed. I just ain't lavish. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, I, I thank God for every day I'm breathing. Okay. Yeah. I'm blessed. I would love to know what lavish feels like, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> oh, man, it's lovely. When you get there, <laughs> you get so caught up, you'll just forget. You can leave there. <laughs> okay. God dog, I want her out. Well, never mind, God. Forget it. <laughs> you know, it might be between two big comfortable pillows and you just lay it there. I feel it so good. You know Somebody caught snap one away. Lord. That's what you know. That's what you know. I'm finna lose the other one. It's too late then. <laughs> Lord. Okay, yeah, I, I guess. Might have been. See, my money ran out. I ain't know my money running out till it was over half of it. Wow. <laughs> That's when I really started trying to save it. It was too late for that. Because bills was due, you know. Right. So, you know, I had to take care of bills. I ain't never used to working. But thank you, God, I jumped back. And by Facts. me being a legend and had the old school, and I took them shows, then the music I just put out, it's selling good. And then these shows I've been doing bless me back to being all right. I just ain't on universal money right now. Right. But I'm um, Georgia boy money. Oh, that's still wealthy now. George, Georgia yeah. money is yeah. wealthy. See, I'm over here, look. See, I'm over here with my buddy right now. That man, I'm in here. He's he living like a king, too. He's living <laughs> like a king. He, I'm living in, uh, I'm in here how doing the interview, eating their food. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, you can get back to eating. Life. <laughs> what uh, when's your next tour or when are you performing oh, next it's, uh, well I got performing the next performing I got is at uh, the Hot Wing Cafe I'm supposed to be there to help friend of mine you know I don't also just do shows and get paid sometimes I help friends I, you know I show okay. up you know and I'm going to be there they have a costume party okay 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 and, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there I'm thinking about going at me and my wife going at uh, uh where was Black Panther and uh I told her to be Catwoman. She said she want to be the Black Panther girl. I, okay, well let her <laughs> shoot. What the <laughs> two of y'all? <laughs> yeah, Sam and Sam. <laughs> Sam and Sam, the best of both worlds. Yeah. Now yeah, yeah, but right now, like uh, this comp the company uh. HBA, like they got up and coming artists right now. I've been working with like they got hell of a swag. They got poet and motorhead. Motorhead, the one who got the George Bulldog song. Uh huh. Okay, and then they got they got a uh, a uh, Jamal and uh, uh, Malik. They they used to be the group Illegal back in the days. Uh huh. Yeah, they they got them too. They got some nice stuff. It's like you know so. You know, right now, you know, all I can tell people, they better get ready because uh, I know I'm going to get my pension. But they got to see some more new artists is coming, too. It's coming. Oh, say oh, shout, that. Shout, let me give a shout out to Big Group. Yeah, shout out to Big Group. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. I need another plate, though, bro. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to let you get your other plate. So give viewers um your website information and how to follow you. All right, you can hit me on uh, Seven Sound and Legend, Seven Sounds on Three. That's on Instagram. Yeah, everything. I ain't on Face Man. Y'all call it Facebook. I call it Face Man. <laughs> I can't take I it. Ain't on, I ain't on that at all. Uh, but I'm on every platform. Anywhere you go, I'm on them. So all you right. ain't got to search for me. And be looking for me. Brady Baby, Fight Club. And my new album, The Last Contract. From me. Hit man, Sammy say on the last contract. Well, thank you so much. We got action. Now you can go eat. Boom. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, have a nice night. You too. Bye.